gente, thank you again for supporting me, supporting my work, supporting the stuff that I do uh, on YouTube. Um, and I'm just, you know, speaking the truth and trying to save somebody's life, man. Because you know what? At the end of the day, man, it's all about who we save, you know? Um, today I'm, I'm going to reflect. This should be number 14. I'm reflecting on a couple of incidents in uh, Bear Hill. Bear Hill. Okay. Um, I was in, in my laundry, doing my laundry, stuff like that. And um, brother comes out of the out of the day room yelling, yo, yo. And or something happened, man. I was getting ready, man, to you know, do what I had to do. Yo, yo, son. Some people come, 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 quick, come, come, come. I said, what, man? What? And uh, he said, you got, yo, you got to you know, check this out quick. And so I'm, I'm, fo I'm following this dude, blind, blinded. And when I follow him, I go inside the, the rec area where the TV is. He points at the TV. And then he said, wait, wait, wait. And then all of a sudden, they show Edward Woodward in, in the equalizer. And then they show me. And he's giving me money. And I said, oh, wow, man. Man, you recognize me, bro? He said, you're right away, man. You know? And I, and then I said, wow. And everybody in the day room was looking around, turning around. And then um, the CEO had came out because he saw, you know, heard the commotion. He thought something happened, too. And then he was looking at the TV. And he looked at me. He looked at the TV. He looked at me. And he went. Started smiling. <coughs> so, anyways, I walked. I said, I gotta finish my work in the laundry. So he followed me, you know. And the doctor followed me to the to the laundry. I think it was Willie Pega. I think that's who it was, Willie Pega. I used to call him Willie Pega because he was he was just in blue. <laughs> Bro, your age and he's still sniffing blue. So, anyways. What happened was that, uh, you know, he asked me questions. He said, bro, how did you get involved in that, in, 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 the, in the movies and all that? So I explained to him, I said, look, once upon a time, man, you know, I was a, a, a gangster out there and I decided to change my life. And I changed my life. I took up acting. I told him, I became an actor. And I, I, I trained with a group called uh, um, the Puerto Rican Traveling Theater. And then from there, I went with the family. And the family is an award-winning uh, theater company. They've won many awards. They even helped me get awards. I got, you know, like five uh, OB awards, uh, OB awards, off-Broadway off uh, awards and stuff like that, including Best American Play as a writer. Then as an actor, I've been in a lot of films, commercials, and all that. So he said, wow, bro, on you. He said, you uh, you're going to go back? And I said, well, right now uh, it's defunct. What that mean? I said, well, they're not functioning no more, bro. You know, they uh, the person that had it, uh, he just, he left it. And uh, I said, I don't know, maybe maybe when I go home, you know, I'll start to, I'll, I'll, I'll pick it up from there, you know, I'll call my boys, you know, especially one of the brothers that, you know, I hold dear to me because he's been right, his name is Rick Reed, and he was writing me from Rikers Island all the way up, up here, man, you know, and the brother's a hell of a fight actor. But I don't, you know, it's just, it's amazing. And so I, uh, I said, if I get a hold of him and, some other brothers that I knew, you know, we can put it all together. And so he said, man, bro, I hope that when you leave from here, you know, my battery dinner's okay, man, you know, because uh, you cool, man. You cool with everybody. And I said, yeah, I try to be, man. I said, I learned all that from my from my director. His name is Marvin Felix Pancho Camillo. And that guy has a long name, <laughs> my man said. I said, well, you know. They, we used to call him, we call him Pancho for short, you know. And I hung out with him. I hung out, I worked, helped with uh, Raul Julia, you know, uh, the guy in the Adams family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, yeah, well, you know, 
I knew him. I knew this brother who was in a play called Timbuktu on Broadway. His name was Gilby Price. Wow, man, you know all these people? Wow. I said, yeah, you know. I even met uh, uh, Robert De Niro. You know, we went to Rawway because he was going to do a, a movie called Weeds. And he was impressed with the work that we did as actors on stage. Uh, Al Pacino. Um, Colleen Bluehurst. I, I was throwing names at him, man. This guy was, his eyes went like this. And, wow, man. Wow. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and uh, so, you know. He felt good that he knew me and that I've been through all that. And I think that was like a blessing to him, you know, for him, I guess, you know. And then, you know, the, I the following the following day, was it the following day? Yes, it was the following day. I got up early, went to, um, I went to child that day because they had uh, pancakes. You know, in those, in those days, I used to love pancakes, man, you know, just the pancakes and, 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 and uh, that's all I would eat uh, with the coffee. So, I come, you know, come back to housing, talking to my boy and whatnot, and then we got in there, and he was, uh, we, so, we so started talking about, yo, man, the people around here, man, they, they really look up to you, man, especially that you was on TV yesterday. Blah, 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 blah. I said, bro, you know, I just hope, man, that everything is everything, man, because the reality is, man, you know, I'm so tired of, of this this craziness, you know. Boom. Uh, the CEO calls me and says, you got to visit. And then I said, whoop. And we just said, oh, yo, bro. Who is it? I said, I think it's my son Johnny because we have spoken, you know? It's my oldest son and he he, he used to come to Rikers Island to visit. <laughs> he used to look, he used to, he used to shake his head like, damn man, you know, this is crazy and whatnot, you know. So yeah, it was it was my son, you know, he came up to visit me, man. We had a beautiful visit. I had a beautiful visit, man. We were just reminiscing, going over stuff and and whatnot, you know. Even you know, he looked out for me big time, let's put it that way, you know. He really looked out for me big time. And um, after the visit, man, I felt bad that he was, uh, you know, that he was leaving, you know. So I told him, I said, bro, uh, you know, I feel bad that you, he said, what you want, you want me to sit? You want me to stay here, man? I said, I said no, man. Look, you're a clown. He said, yeah, I came out like you, you know. But, um. After that, man, everything was, you know, everything was chilly, chilly. Um, again, I was doing, uh, I think I was doing, pro no, I wasn't doing programs. You know, I was doing my laundry thing and and whatnot. And one day, um, they called me. They said, uh, they said, you pack it up, you're going to the main. I said, what? Yeah, pack it up, you're going to the main. Uh, packed it up, you know, I, you have no choice. I told all the guys, I told, you know, uh, uh, my boy Chino, I told my boy uh, uh, Green, you know, Cuba, Lagrima, because he had it too, Lagrima, you know, uh, Gato. I'm mentioning these names because, you know, we were real close like that, you know. And, uh, you know, we pa I packed it up, we went, I went to the main, and that was because I was heading to court. So, when I got to the main, I think the main was, it, it was sort of like a mixture of craziness, you know? But, you know, hey, I, 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 could, do, I could do my bit anyway, I said, you know, in my mind. I, this ain't nothing, you know? And uh, so... That night, I had to prepare myself for the next day because it was a long trip, you know. And uh, they locked, my stuff was locked up, boom, boom, boom. And I went, got on that, that ate my breakfast and all that, and got online, got on that bus with other people. We were heading for New York, eight hours. 
eight, eight hours. Eight hours with that metal box on your, on your, on your arms, all right? And, and if you had to talk to somebody else. So, I fought it. We end up in, in uh, C-95, I guess. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Took the chains off of, and it's the same old noise that they do had. I mean, it sounds like a roaring or something new. That, then, pow, you hear somebody getting knocked in the head, or uh, CEO yelling, and all this. It, it was madness. I mean, when I say madness, it was madness. C-95. I thought C-73 was out of control. C-95, man, was like, uh, uh, it's like going into uh, the Lower East Side, man, with, with, uh, with guns in your hand blazing, you know? So, anyways, um, got there, gave me housing. I'm looking around to see if I, you know, if I see anybody. And sure enough, man, I go inside my cell. And uh, somebody recognized me. <laughs> and they, could, they even called me Santito. And I said, who's that? And he said his name. I'm trying to remember his name. I think his name was Freddie. And he says, it's me, Freddie, man, uh, from C, from, remember from C-74 that I was the one that threw you the material? I said, oh, man, what's up? Boom, 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 you know. And I said, yeah. he said, yo, you still down with those people, man? I said, nah, man, I'm a Muslim, man. And he said, me too, man, I'm not I'm not down with them, man. They did some foul shit to me. I said, really? He said, yeah, man, you know? He said, I went home and I came back. I said, really? Wow. So, you know, so you want to, you need anything? I got, you know, candy and stuff like that, man. I said, nah, I'm good, man, you know? Uh, you you have cigarettes? I said, well, that's what I do need, man, you know? So he threw me a pack of cigarettes, boom, you know? I chilled out of my cell. We were talking, reminiscing about, you know, the times that she sent me for and this, that, and the other. He said, man, this is crazy over here. It's crazy, bro. I said, I, I could imagine. And then he said, you're going to run into people, man, that are, are, they're not, they're not, well, with, they're not near us, they're not kings, now they bloods. I said, I said, really? He said, yeah, man. He says, especially the Dominicans, man, on this floor. And I said, really? He said, yeah, man. Most of them are the He said, right there, that the house next to you, the house, the house next to us is all blood, Dominican blood. I said, wow. I said, man, listen, let me tell you something. If, uh, if, I said, you here to the day, Daddy? He said, yeah, yeah, there's a few here. I said, well. If they would know about that shit, man, they don't pay off to esa gente, man, you know? And, I, and uh, he said, man, la cosa tan corriendo al derete, meaning it's running wild, you know? So, anyways, uh, we, you know, we chill. We chill uh, and, and, and then it was like about 10 o'clock, and you can hear all the commotions, so you go, ay, 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 you know? Uh, here we go again. It's not like upstate. Upstate is quiet like a church mouse. You know, right down the man, especially the, the, the COs, man, they, they act like they, uh, they act like they killers. But if you see them in the street, they're not killers. I ran into a couple in the street and I did, I, I gave them that look and they put their head down, you know. But over there, because they got the upper hand, they got the keys, you know. I mean, there's some good CEOs. There were some good CEOs, man, like Bailey. Uh, he was cool people, man. Uh, you know, Gomez, uh, Captain Pitt, Torres. You know, I could name some good CEOs. Uh, Hunter, you know. They were, I mean, you know, you don't mind, man, breaking bread with them. That's about it. You ain't going to break anything else, you know. But, uh. Other than that, man, you know, it was chilly, chilly like Willie, you know? And then, boom, um, next day, uh, I go to, uh, I go to mess hall. When I go to mess hall, you know, I know this man all the while, this man, you know, 
Boom. So came out of the mess hall, got ready to go to go to court. And uh, so I went to went to court. I, I, I saw I saw a guy man uh, again that I, I I went to school with. He, he was assistant DA in Brownstown. He saw me handcuffed. He looked at me. He looked at me, I looked at him, and then he put his head down like he felt sorry for me. I, I was going to say, don't feel sorry for me, feel sorry for yourself, because you got to deal with all these hypocrites, you know? But um, it was, it was, it was like really, really crazy, man. On my way back, on my way back after signing my papers and all that, on my way back, I run into a Dominican brother named Menor. Who, uh, he, yo, when I, I ran away, he was so happy to see me, I was happy to see him, man. Oye, pero que vaina. He said, he said, oye, tu siempre con lo tuyo, man, you know, like that. And I said, yo, I, I said, I, I didn't want to really ask him. I saw the big scar. Somebody put like a, a buck 75 on him, you know. They cut him across his face. I told him, bro, what happened, man? He's the same brother that, that helped. Me and Kano and the rest get rid of uh, 950 bloods from C C95. At the time, when we was we were at war with them people. He told me a blood got him good across the face. I said, "Wow, man!" I thought about it. I said, "Damn, man!" And you know, he was bitter. But what you gonna do? You know. Um, you were representing people who left you out there because that wouldn't have happened unless they left you out there. You know what I'm saying? So with that, my people, um, have a bless. The holidays coming up. Have a bless weekend. Be safe. Drive safe. And on the next one, I think this is uh, series 14. All right, peace out.